Hey, Book of Faces. How are we? I just realized you. I was all set up so you could see the messy background. I thought I would go live today with an activity that um, my coach mentioned in passing, but I thought was really cool. So I decided to do it. So I wrote a letter last night to Santa. Now you might be wondering why I wrote a letter to Santa. And um, I'm gonna read you the letter first and then at the end I'll explain the deeper level meaning of writing your own letter to Santa. All right, let's go. Let me, for this auspicious occasion, let me fix my hair. All right, so, dear Santa, thank you for bringing me my present early this year. Having nine ladies in embrace for the first round was perfect in so many ways. Being able to do the extra calls, the one-on-one -on -one interventions, and showing myself and the world how good I truly am means the world. Nine ladies was the perfect gift. There's still room for two more, just saying. I'm also grateful for the one-on-one -on -one clients that have arrived. Now I can't read my own writing. Um, for this time of year, having them arrive really allowed my voice to call forward the up and coming leaders who will grow with me in 2019 and beyond. It was such a great idea to open up the calendar space for those individual sessions. The money was nice, but what was even better was being able to support those people having difficult times. Thank you for a wonderful gift, Santa. I'm truly, truly grateful. So why would I write a letter to Santa? So there's a couple of things in that. Sometimes it's really, really hard for us to ask God, spirit, whatever it is that you believe in for exactly what we want. But when we write a letter to Santa and we write it with that childlike wonder and that joy and just that honest expectation that what we want we'll get because Santa gives you what you want, right? Especially when you've been good. It creates this whole different energy around asking. Because as we grow up and as we get older, we get taught we're not allowed to ask. It means other people miss out. We're being greedy. Um, who are we to have what we want in life? And you know, Marianne Williamson, right? Who are we not? But when we write a letter to Santa and tap into that childlike energy, it's a really powerful way for us to start really stepping to that energy of manifestation. And um, when we are really clear in asking for what we want, it allows the universe, it allows God, hi Michelle, to know with full clarity what it is that we're asking for. And when we ask from a space of purely asking because this is what we want and this will make us happy and this will help us do what we want, follow our purpose, live our bliss, experience joy, that even adds even more juice to it. So if you feel a little awkward asking for exactly what you want, the manifesting stuff's not quite working, have a go with writing a letter to Santa. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to see how you go. I'd love you to share your letter if you feel like it. But it's a wonderful time of year. So let's just tap into that collective consciousness, that beautiful universal energy. Tap into our ability to receive Remember what it was like as a child to think that it was okay and um, start embracing this for future manifestation and being clear with the universe with what we want. That's all I wanted to say for now. I look forward to hearing your letters from Santa. Bye. Well, not from Santa, to Santa. Bye.